The first TV dinner was a prepackaged meal in a tray that you ate while watching television. Our TV dinner this morning is a meal that you learn to cook while watching some expert do it. If Bill Geis can do it, you can too. There's so many TV chefs around these days that there are people who will actually train you to be one. You need to do it a little bit more slowly. So, so how do you start, though? I'm... Mm, long time, no see. We'll take a cooking on camera course in San Francisco later on Sunday morning. I'm making a garlic and herb three cheese pizza, and I'm gonna make veal and The Saint trend on TV cooking shows is fast and easy. And it'll be on the table in under 30 minutes. Here at TV Chef School, I've been taking lots of notes. No blenders, no Cuisinarts, knives. electric knives. I and we'll now attempt to wow cooking on camera instructor Christina Ricci by preparing a holiday feast in world record time. Thanksgiving is something that can take weeks. You get this, this guy, you have to defrost it, baste it, cover it with aluminum foil, wrap it, do all this kind of, it takes too long. It's true. So we're getting rid of the old boy. Thank you. Tom, see ya. What are we having instead? We're gonna go with a two minute, and prepare Thanksgiving dinner in two minutes during a timeout of the football game. Ready, set, go. So instead of this, these are all ready to go. Oscar Mayer turkey breast. They're a good shape, which you can see right through, I think. Can you see through that? How many do you think per person? Uh, I, I think one, one is more than enough. <laughs> so there's your turkey. You just save five hours. Christina's not quite sure about this yet. What about the stuffing? How are you going to do stuffing in two minutes? How do you open this? I think we're going to need some Oh, scissors. you need scissors. Sharp, have your scissors sharpened and on hand. That's really the only tool you're going to need other than a can opener. I think you need to stir faster if you're going to be done in two minutes. We're off to a great start. What's next? Can you peel some potatoes? Stir the mash. No, or no, no. Not anymore now. Thanks to modern food technology, we don't have to peel potatoes anymore. These are mashed potatoes. Pour them right in. And you'll get potatoes out of it? I don't know. Don't those look good? It might be too much water. <laughs> and like them or not, you've got to have yams. Ah, the nectar. These are packed in some kind of motor oil or just oh, transfer these that. into a container and then you want a topping for them. Then you just yourself. sprinkle these over the top. Doesn't that look good? This is a little extra touch. Stand back. Do you have a welder's mask? Uh-oh, it's oh, on huh. fire. That's... Is that supposed to happen? Flambe. Oh, the potatoes. potatoes. Oh, it's sort of solid now. Then we have our stove top. Then what I like to do is finish it with microwavable gravy. Doesn't that look interesting? There it is, the two-minute football timeout Thanksgiving dinner, folks. You'd think I'd spent days in the kitchen. So you said we end all the classes today with presenting it to the teacher, and she has to taste it. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, 2006. Ah, get a big bite. <laughs> I think it's There's time to go for a break. <laughs>